Boeing going gone. That's a line we have been using on this show and with good reason, of course. Since the start of the year, Boeing has managed to find its way to the headlines almost every other week and a lot of the times with new safety concerns. It's the first week of June. And we have two new Boeing whistleblowers speaking out. They say Boeing's planes are a ticking time bomb. Here's a detailed report. This New York Post article has grabbed eyeballs around the world. The report features two new whistleblowers from Boeing. Roy Irwin was a Boeing quality investigator. His job was to ensure that Boeing's Dreamliners were ready to take off. Irwin says, there were times the plane had safety issues and was not fit to take off, but Boeing demanded that Irwin give a green light to the plane. In short, the quality investigator was asked to compromise on the plane's quality. Remember John Barnett? He was the first Boeing whistleblower. Barnett had worked with Boeing for over 30 years. At one point, he was a quality manager at the North Charleston plant, where the 787 Dreamliners are built. Barnett had said there were some problems with Boeing's oxygen system. What's more, workers were fitting substandard parts into the aircraft in order to meet deadlines. Irwin claims he had worked with Barnett. 62-year-old Barnett was found dead in March. This was days after he had given evidence in a whistleblower lawsuit against Boeing. In May, another Boeing whistleblower, Joshua Dean, was found dead. Dean had revealed that there were manufacturing defects in Boeing 737 MAX. Despite these deaths, more employees who worked on Boeing planes are now speaking out. Roy Irwin says he did raise safety concerns even when working with the American plane maker, but nothing happened. The former Boeing employee told an American news outlet, Missing safety devices on hardware or untightened hardware means that you're not going to be able to control the airplane if those fail. In short, Boeing is playing with death. Santiago Paredes is the other whistleblower. He was once working at Spirit Aerosystems. This company is one of the many suppliers of Boeing. Paredes says he was surprised at what he saw when he joined Spirit Aerosystems. There were hundreds of defects on the production line. Fasteners were missing. There were dents in some parts. Some parts had damages. What did Paredes do? He raised the issue with his superiors, but Paredes was asked to keep quiet. He was even asked to limit his report. Employees at Spirit Aero Systems reportedly nicknamed Paredes Showstopper because his notes on defects would often cause delivery delays. Paredes told the media, everything I was seeing was like a ticking time bomb. In the last few months, Boeing safety issues have become the talk of the town. From a plug door blowing out, to a tyre falling off mid-air and planes landing with parts missing. From its fuselage, airlines around the world have reported freak accidents involving Boeing planes. Airlines have also reported parts missing from the planes. Where does all this leave the future of brand Boeing? It was once America's blue-eyed boy, one of America's biggest soft powers. Where is brand Boeing now? Up in the air? To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.